Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a value pack dive watch from Zelos with the Zelos black tip. So in this video, full in-depth review of this timepiece. Also in the description will be a link to purchase this watch at teddybaldessar.com. At the end of this video, things to consider, who is this watch for, who is it maybe not for. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. First, looking at a rundown of the specs, we have a case size of 41 millimeters, thickness when measuring with the crystal at 12.2 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters, water resistance of 200 meters, movement is an automatic Miota 9015, and crystal is sapphire, and finally the price, $499. TeddyBaldessar.com, full authorized dealer of Zealous Watches, full factory warranty for all the brands that we carry, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated US-based customer support, and nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back into the content that we're creating. Now, let's be frank for a second. There are simply too many watch brands out there on the market that the market can actually support. And over the last five years, there has been an overabundance of brands that have flooded the market with many failing to ever really get off the ground. Now, a brand that certainly doesn't fit that description but has risen up quickly in the last five or so years is Zelos, a Singapore-based upstart in the past several years has solidified itself as one of the leaders in their category through the creation of well spec watches for the money. Now, the model that we're going to be looking at here is some of the same aspects that have made Zelos uh, solidified in this regard, but also with some great additions and styles that make it a bit of a compelling package for a diver in this $500 range. And the two models that we're going to be looking at are the two variants of the same model family, the black tip family, one being the teal variants and the other being the fully loom frost version, models that we have very limited inventory for and have seen being sold out pretty much everywhere. Now to begin here with the dimensions, first we have a nice fitting diver all around 41 millimeter case, a thickness of 12 millimeters and a compact lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters, which will make this watch wear closer to that of a 39 and a half millimeter to 40 millimeter diameter, making this fall in that classic sweet spot that I feel many enthusiasts like. The case coming in stainless steel comes in a predominantly brushed finish throughout with a subtle hairline polished edge to add more highlighted profile and an otherwise unassuming yet nice case finish. Now the side profile is broken up by nice faceting of the case elements, helping this piece steer clear of the prevalent bulky case exterior associated with many dive watches. And at the three o'clock, a screw down crown that operates in typical fashion from there, hand winding at the first position, changing the date at the second position and adjusting the hands at the farthest out point while stopping the second hand in the process. So hacking seconds here. In addition, the crown is signed with the help of luminescent material to add a signature touch noticeable in both bright and dark environments. Now, believe it or not, when it comes to these watches, the real star of the show actually is the bracelet. As for the money, they are exceptional. They come in with a matching finish to the case, including the polished chamfer and seamlessly meeting the case without adding any additional size from top to bottom. The bracelet is held together with the help of screwed in links that are breathable. Now the clasp is secure and most impressively features a tool free slide adjuster in the clasp that will offer approximately eight millimeters of on the fly adjustment when engaging the small trigger on the underside. For the money, the bracelet is very hard to beat and hopefully more brands out there can learn a thing or two from Zealous here and offer this on the fly adjustment. The only possible criticism I would have of this bracelet is going to be the large quick release pins, which are easy to engage on the positive end, ensuring that the changing of straps is going to be a breeze, especially when combined with those drilled lugs. But also these could be felt when strongly contorting the wrist when having it strapped on. Didn't happen quite frequently when I had it on, but I could see it possibly happening if you really are flexing your wrist throughout the day. Otherwise, this bracelet is an absolute home run for a watch costing $500. Now, as we head back towards the front of the watch, this is when the differences between the pieces start to become a bit more drastic. Now, starting with the final point of similarity, the bezels do come with a unidirectional 120 click execution that shows very little play and does have a nice audible click when rotating. In regards to the material used, the teal is going to have a ceramic bezel insert, and for the frost, it comes equipped with a sapphire insert. Both of them have their own appeal in regards to looks and should have up protection from basic scratches one might expect if they opted to go for, say, a traditional stainless steel or an aluminum insert. The other point of emphasis that is mirrored equally with the dials is the use of luminescent material. The teal offers the traditional loom pip at the 12 o'clock marker on the bezel and super luminova set within the hands and the applied markers on the dial, while the frost opts for the fully loomed insert on the bezel and the dial itself. Both shine with solid incandescence as one would expect from those familiar with the brand Zelos, although being two drastically different executions. The general array of the markers and the style of the dials are very much the same though, showcasing 
casing, polished rectangular applied markers along the outside, the zealous applied logo at the 12, and a framed date aperture at the 6, and being topped off with the blunted rectangular handset at the center. The subtle sunburst of the teal from the matte white of the frost offered two distinct looks despite falling underneath the same model family, and overall it really is going to come down to personal preference on which one you're going to opt for. Flipping the black tip over, they showcase an engraved case back with a polished shark motif at the center, set to protect the automatic Miyota caliber within the 9015. Now typically what you'll find with other more relatively obtainable pieces from Zelos, like the Swordfish as an example, will be housing the venerable Seiko NH35 within a no-nonsense three hertz movement that offers nice reliability and the ability to price the pieces more competitively that said with the subtle jump up in the price here from those models zealous opted to go for one of miyota's higher end automatic calibers with their 9000 series now this specific movement was rolled out in the market in 2009 and has become very popular in the micro brand scene and other brands in this 400 to a thousand dollar range as a robust solution in addition the movement operates at four hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour compared to the likes of the aforementioned NH35, which will be running at 21,600 vibrations per hour or 3 hertz. This Miyota also features hacking and hand winding, hacking stopping the second hand when pulling out the crown to the farthest position, and has a power reserve of 42 hours. In addition, the movement does get some upgrades in regards to accuracy when contrasting with the regularly seen NH35, with the Seiko Caliber coming in with a minus 20 to plus 40 range of deviation out of the box, and the Miyota coming in with the minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day on average. Now, both of these I have found greatly outperform the proposed specs, and I don't mean to pick on the NH35 as it is a really solid movement, but there's certainly a lot of misconceptions about Miyota and undervaluing their 9000 series of movements as a result of their just being a lot of, I think, self-inflicted damage by them with many of their more affordable calibers, especially their quartz options, being housed within fashion watch brands on the market. But it should not be twisted. The 9000 series offers some fantastic movements. Now let's take a closer look at the black tip, things to consider as maybe you're looking in the direction of this watch. So Zellos, again, mentioned at the beginning, have really solidified themselves as one of the best micro brands in the range that they occupy well specced out, and I think that is well documented within uh, just looking at the different specifications. Nice case finishing, great use of material throughout. You're also getting that extension within the clasp, which is very hard to find in a watch of this price range. I think Zealous really went over the top and I think does kind of set a standard there uh, where I think a lot of the main brands maybe need to step up their game quite a bit. Getting a nice reliable movement within here as well. The only thing that I would always suggest for somebody that's looking more in the micro brand realm, uh, I don't think this is as much of a concern when looking at a brand like Zealous, where there actually are, I think, people that just collect the brand and like the brand and they're being demand, uh, especially for this particular model. But the brand equity is not going to be the same as, say, a Seiko. So if you ever want to move on from it, it's not going to be essentially the same level of demand mass market wise. Uh, but Zealous, I think with this piece, another great addition, if anything, I think it almost just gets overshadowed and lost in the mix at times because Zealous have just been known for doing this, just creating really solid dive watches for the money. And the black tip is certainly just that. All right, guys, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That's a great way to help out the content. But also, if you're in the market for this watch, link in the description down below, teddybaldasar.com, full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer service. Also, we'll offer price match for all other products. So if you see one of our products for cheaper at another authorized dealer, fill out the form on the product page and we'll give you a call. Also, we offer a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. So if something goes wrong, you're not having to pay the bill for it. And finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back into the content that we're creating, trying to foster up a new generation of watch enthusiasts. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.